Hi, we will see about projections of lines in this session. Now, what is projections of lines? To understand that, first we discuss about reference planes, that is horizontal plane and vertical plane. Here, green colored plane is horizontal plane and red colored plane is vertical plane. An intersection of these two plane is XY line. If an object is lying in first quadrant, for example, here cylinder is lying in first quadrant. It means it is above horizontal plane and in front of vertical plane as shown over here. Now to draw the projection of given cylinder, first of all draw XY line. Now if I want to draw the projection of this cylinder, I am looking from front side. This is the spectacle person is like me. He is looking from front side, so it is called as front view. And whenever you look from front side, this cylinder will look like a rectangle having width is equal to diameter of the cylinder and height is equal to height of the cylinder. So this will be the front view of this cylinder. And obviously it will be above XY line as it is in first quadrant. If the cylinder is third is in third quadrant, then this front view will be below XY line. Right now it is in above XY line. Now if this person is looking from top side of this cylinder, then this cylinder will appear like a circle, right? And this circle will be below XY line because it is in first quadrant. So this is the top view of given circle, given cylinder. And these are the two views of this cylinder if it is in first quadrant. Similarly, if the same cylinder is in third quadrant, at that time, its front view will be below XY line and top view will be above XY line. Yes, now we will discuss about projections of lines. The data is given like this. First of all, read the first line. Point A is 20 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. So these are the two planes, HP and VP. And point A is above horizontal plane. That means it is like this at certain distance above horizontal plane at a distance of 20 millimeter point a is here and it is in front of vp at a distance of 30 millimeter so this distance is 30 millimeter now draw locate this point in xy line so xy line represents intersection of hp and vp and mark point a dash that is above xy line at a distance of 20 mm and point a at a distance of 30 mm below xy line this is point a ADS is front view, means if you are looking from front side, it will be above XY line. And if you are looking from top side, then it will be below XY line at a distance of 30 millimeter. So ADS and A are two views of given point A, that is front view and top view. Now to draw the projection of this point, this line, the, read the given data, line number two, length of line AB is 80 millimeter and line AB is parallel to HP and VP. Means we have to draw a line from point A in such a way that it is parallel to horizontal plane and vertical plane. It is like this. And it is point B is at a distance of 80 millimeter. So how to draw projection of this point? So for that, at a distance of 80 millimeter from the projection line of point A, mark a point and from that point draw a line. So both these lines are at a distance of 80 millimeter to each other. This first line is called as projection line of point A. And this pink colored line is called as projection line of point B. Now on this pink colored line, locate position of point B such that it is given that point B is above HP and in front of VP. Yes, obviously it will be in the same quadrant as point A. So from point A dash draw a horizontal line. This is point B dash and this is point B. So A dash B dash is front view of line AB that is equal to 80 millimeter. And AB is top view of line AB, that is 80 millimeter. And angle between front view and XY line is zero. So alpha is equal to zero. And angle between top view and front view line is also zero. That's why beta is also zero. And two length is equal to 80 millimeter. This is our simplest problem of projection of line. The line which is parallel to HP and VP, its front view and top view will appear like this. Now problem number two, little bit difficult, yes? Yes, point A, that is given as 20 mm above HP. So how to locate point A? Now all people know how to locate point A dash and A, that is 20 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. So A dash is somewhere here and A is somewhere here. Now we have to draw a line AB from point A in such a way that that line is parallel to vertical plane and makes an angle of 45 degree with horizontal plane. So how to draw that line? That line should be like this. This angle is 45 degree and point B at, is at a distance of 80 millimeter from point A. To locate this point B in this front view from A dash draw a horizontal line. That is called as locus of point A dash. 
and with this line that is locus of edges draw a line at an angle of 45 degree because if we are looking from front side then angle with hp will be visible to us so from point a days draw a line at an angle of 45 degree with xy line and true length is given as 80 mm so at a distance of 80 mm mark a point b2 dash so a dash b2 dash is the true length of line ab now to draw its top view draw vertical line from point b2 dash or that is called as projection line of from from point b2 dash and horizontal line from point a both will meet at one point that is called as point p so ab is top view of given line ab now answer measure length ab ab is equal to 57 mm that is top view of line ab which makes an angle of 45 degree with hp and parallel to vp this is the solution of this problem i hope it's clear to you it's very simple just uh, if you do not understand and revert back and uh, relearn this video three job problem third problem point a is 20 mm above, above hp and 30 mm in front of vp this is now everyone how to locate point a dash and a right now it is here reverse is given angle with vp is given that is 45 degree and parallel to hp line ab is parallel to hp and makes an angle of 45 degree with vp so whenever any line makes an angle any angle with vertical plane that angle will be visible in top view only so here top view is point a so from point a first draw locus of point a and then after draw a line at an angle of 45 degree with locus of point a and that line is 80 mm long so this is true length of line ab and this angle 45 degree is called as angle phi angle with hp is theta and angle with vp is phi this is point b1 so ab1 is 80 mm and angle is 45 degree now to draw its front view what should we do yes same as problem number 2 draw vertical line from point b1 this b1 that will cut horizontal line from point a dash at one point that is point b dash so write down answer a dash b dash is front view of line ab and a b1 is true length of line ab and a b1 is also top view of line ab this is the solution of problem number 6.3 i hope it's clear to you then problem number 4 the combination of problem number 1 2 and 3 how to draw this first of all length of line ab is given so write down given data ab is equal to true length that is equal to 80 mm angle with hp theta is given as 45 degree angle with vp phi is given as 30 degree now remember from which point we should draw angle theta and from which point we should draw angle phi just you have to remember this thing then you can uh, proceed further first of all look at point a dash that is 10 mm above hp and point a that is 15 mm below xy line so we have located a dash and a now angle with hp that is theta that is 45 degree that will pass through from which point yes obviously from point a dash so from a dash draw locus of point a dash that is horizontal line from point a and then next from point a a dash draw a line at an angle of 45 degree with xy line so that is theta and true length is given as 80 mm right so this is point b2 dash a dash b2 dash is true length and angle is angle with hp similarly draw angle with vp that is phi so it will pass through the point in top view that is point a so from point a draw a locus of point a and a line at an angle of 30 degree with xy line or with locus and that is phi or angle with vertical plane and true length is 80 mm so mark a point a b1 at a distance of 80 mm from point a so we have drawn two true length a dash b2 dash and ab in every problem both this true length will have same length only angle will change either theta um, whatever theta and whatever phi value may be there now to draw its front view and top view what should we do so for that first of all draw locus of point b dash that is horizontal line from point b2 dash that is locus to, locus of point b dash similarly horizontal line from point b1 that is locus of b first of all you should draw this locus of all these points we have drawn now from point b2 dash draw a straight vertical line that will cut locus of point a at one point that is point b2 right b2 dash ma thi we have located point b2 now take a as a center a b2 as a radius draw an arc and that arc will cut locus of point b at point b because 
locus of point B means B point will be on this line. Similarly, locus of B dash means B dash point will be on this line. Now we have located point B, mark that point, join A with B, and that is top view of line AB. Right? So name, measure that top view is equal to AB, that is equal to 57 millimeter. After uh, draw a drawing top view, how to draw front view? Obviously, front view and top view will be on the same vertical line for any point. For example, front view of point A is here, A dash. So top view is also here on the same vertical line. Simil similarly, point B is here. So its front view, front view is point B dash, where it should be. It should be on the straight vertical line from point B. So draw a straight vertical line. So B dash will be on this vertical line. And we have here we have written. B dash is on this horizontal line. So where will be point B dash? Obviously here. So this is point B dash. Join A dash with B dash, that is front view, measure that line, that is equal to 69 millimeter. Now we have drawn top view, front view, and both true lines. Then measure this angle, angle of front view with XY line, that is called as alpha, that angle is equal to 55 degree. These are the answers that you have to calculate or measure from given drawing or whatever you have drawn from that, you have to find out the value of alpha that is 55 degree. Then the angle with top angle of top view with XY line that is called as beta, sorry, phi. AB, sorry, beta, yes. AB with XY line that is beta, measure that angle that will be equal to 45 degree, right? Now check whether our problem is correct or not. So how to check it? For that, uh, let me discuss a trick. From point B1, draw a straight vertical line like this and mark here point b one dash on locus of point a dash then take a dash as a center a dash b one dash as a radius draw an arc and that arc should meet at point b dash then only our problem is correct otherwise something is wrong this arc should meet at point b dash now in this problem you have to think for uh, combinations, four length will be there. Top front view, top view, and two true length. Here also four lengths are there. Then four angles are there, alpha, beta, theta, phi. Then four horizontal lines are there, horizontal line from point A dash, A, B dash, and B. And four vertical lines are there, vertical line from point A, B, B1, and B2, right? So in any problem of projections of line, these are the parameters which you have to measure or some parameters will be given to you and you have to find out other parameters by knowing the relationship between these parameters. Let me see one problem, problem number 6.5. Point A is given 20 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of VP. So A dash will be above XY line, A will be below XY line. Distance between projection line is given that is 60 millimeter. So mark up a draw projection line of point B at a distance of 60 millimeter from projection line of A and locate point B dash and B. I hope uh, this is clear to you. So I'm not discussing in, in detail. Join A dash, B dash, that is front view. A, B is top view. Measure both this length. Measure from point A dash, draw locus of point A dash. And from point A, draw locus of point A, locus of B dash and locus of B. Draw all these locuses. Then measure this angle alpha, that is angle of front view with x y line, that is alpha, and angle of top view with x y line, that is called as beta. After measuring these two angles, now we know how to find out true length of line AB. Yes, to find out true length, take a dash as a center, a dash b dash as a radius, and draw an arc, and that arc will cut locus of point a dash at point b1 dash. From point b1 dash, draw a straight vertical line, it will cut locus of b at one point, that is called b1. Join A with B1, that is true length. And angle of this true length with X, Y line. What is that called as? That is phi, because it is from point A. So this is phi. Now to find out true length in front view or angle theta, what should we do? From point, uh, take A point as a center, A, B as a radius, draw an arc. That will cut locus of point A at one point, that is point B2. From point B2, draw straight vertical line that will cut locus of point B dash at one point, that is B2 dash. Join A dash with B2 dash, that is true length of line AB. And angle of this true length with XY line, that is called as theta. 
Now measure all these parameters. Then answer should be written like this. No need to write any step. Just you have to write answer and draw this figure. Front view is equal to ADS-B dash, that is 67 millimeter. Top view is AB, that is 72 millimeter. True length is AB1, that is ADS-B2 dash, that is equal to 78 millimeter. Both these lengths should be equal, that is ADS-B2 dash and AB1. Angle of front view with XY line, that is alpha, that is 27 degree centigrade. And not centigrade because only degree, 27 degree, it's not centigrade. If I temperature, nahi hai kya. Now angle of top view with XY line, that is beta, that is 34 degree. And angle with vertical plane, angle of line with vertical plane, that is phi, that is 31 degree. And angle with HP, theta, that is equal to 23 degree for this problem. Now draw this problem to the scale and compare your answer with this answer. Both answers should be same. Yes, rocket guide, problem number 6.6. .6. This is the data and I am going fast because you know how to draw all these points, A dash, B dash, A and B. Join, uh, draw front view that is A dash, B dash, A, B is top view, draw locuses of all the points, measure angle alpha and beta. So in this case, alpha will be 30 degree, beta will be 41 degree, A dash, B dash, that is front view, that will be 81 millimeter. And top view, that is A, B, that is 92 millimeter. This will be the answer. After drawing this, find out true length. So for that, take a dash center, a dash, b dash, radius, draw an arc. This is point B1 dash on locus of point a dash. From that point, draw a straight vertical line that will cut locus of point B at one point, that is point B1. Join A with P1, that is true length. And angle of this true length with XY line, that is called as angle phi because it is top view. So AB1 is equal to 100 mm. Phi will be equal to 37 degree. And uh, to find out angle theta, make top view parallel to XY line. From point B2, draw straight vertical line that will cut locus of B dash at point B2 dash. Join A dash with B2 dash, that is true length, and the angle of this true length is XY line that is equal to theta. And A dash B2 dash is also 100 mm. Both AB1 and A dash B2 dash should be same. Then only our problem is correct. Otherwise, some mistake is there. Then measure this angle theta that is equal to 23 degree. So that is the solution of that problem. I hope everything is clear to you. Now this is the last problem to be discussed very fast. Talk as A dash A, B dash B, join A dash B dash A, B, blah, 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 right? I am going fast. Measure A dash B dash that will be 72 degree, 72 millimeter. Measure A, B that is equal to 63 millimeter. Measure alpha that is 34 degree. Measure beta that is 18 degree. True length will be 75 millimeter. Angle with HP, theta. And angle with VP, phi. Theta is 32 degree and phi is 16 degree. After measuring these angles, let me check four parameters. Four length, that is top view, front view, and a two true length. Four angle, alpha, beta, theta, phi. Four horizontal lines, locus of A dash, locus of B dash, locus of A, and locus of B. And four vertical lines, line from point A, B, B1, and B2. If you meet all these criteria, then the problem is perfect. I hope everything is clear to you. If you do not understand anything, you do revise, start from the first moment and you can easily understand whatever we have discussed. Thanks for watching. Keep watching.